In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways that you're causing your own anxiety and why you need to stop it, but I'm also gonna give you some solutions, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yeah, that's right, some of you are causing your own anxiety, but don't worry, don't worry, I'm not gonna pull a Nicole Arbor on you. It's all on your head, it's all on your head. Like, first and foremost, I wanna say this. I wanna say this, yes, I'm going to explain why you're causing your own anxiety and give you three ways that you're doing so, but this isn't meant for you to go and beat yourself up over it. Like, this is something that's extremely, extremely empowering when it comes to anxiety. When you start to realize that you are the source of some of your anxiety triggers, now you are in the driver's seat and you can start to manage your life a little bit better. So please do me a favor, if you find anything in this video helpful, and you think it might be able to help you or other people, please share this video so we can help some other people with their anxiety, all right? But anyways, let's get started and talk about reason number one. So the first thing you need to quit doing is quit line, all right? And I can say this from a lot of experience. Like, I am somebody with a generalized anxiety disorder, so my anxiety can come from pretty much anywhere or anything. But one of my biggest issues was that I was constantly lying for a variety of reasons. Sometimes I was lying just to purely be shady or something that a lot of us do is trying to control the way somebody feels. What do I mean by that? not telling somebody the truth in order to spare their feelings. Ask yourself this, have you ever lied to somebody to sh save their feelings, but they found out the truth later and they were more upset than they were before? A lot of people do that. So even with good intentions behind lying, it can cause us stress and anxiety. Here's why, for every lie that we tell, now we have to worry about getting caught. So the more I became truthful and honest, like the less I had to worry about people catching me and finding out the truth. You see what I'm saying? So this is a very easy one. Well, let me take a step back. It's not always easy, but over time you start to see that the truth is the best thing that you can do, especially when it comes to your anxiety. Here is a great example. So for a long time, this was me. But now, this is me. So yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm no longer doing shady stuff. I no longer lie to my girlfriend. I have nothing to hide. I was actually talking to a friend about it the other day. Like, isn't it nice? Like your girlfriend can check your phone or you hand your girlfriend your phone to like do something and like you're not even worried about it. Like, talk about like, a big load off, you know what I mean? Like my girlfriend can go up, down, left, right, all the way through this phone, and I know that since I'm always honest with her, I don't have anything to worry about. So the first thing you need to stop doing is lying so much. Quit causing your own anxiety by worrying about being found out. The next, the next one that I know a lot of you are guilty of is being late. Like being late is brutal and it is so stressful. You know what I mean? Like when we're running late and we're worried about the people who are waiting on us or if it's work or if it's, you know, what are they thinking or what are they gonna say about me? They're gonna think I'm this or this or I don't care and da 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 da. Like this is something that is very much in your control. And some of you might be thinking, you know, you know, you got kids and you gotta get them ready and all this other stuff. Like these are not the situations I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is you sitting down and watching one or two extra YouTube videos. You see what I'm saying? Like you mindlessly scrolling through Instagram or your Facebook feed for 10, 20, 30 minutes, and then you're late. These are the things that I'm talking about that really cause us to be anxious. So something that I had to start doing was just start being early. Um, traffic is, terrible here in Vegas sometimes, not as bad as like LA traffic, Ooh, it's not as bad as LA traffic, but they're doing a ton of construction on the freeway. I have to account for that. I have to account for that every single day and leave 15 or 20 minutes earlier than what I used to leave, you know what I mean? So like, I know, I know for a fact that I go to work during rush hour while they're doing construction, I know this for a fact. So in order to manage my anxiety, I leave a little bit earlier, which 
also leads to me waking up earlier, I have to get ready earlier, but I have to do this just to keep this thing under control. I'm not late anymore, so I don't have to worry about my anxiety. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still late every now and then, but because if we look back to reason number one, I don't lie about it. Like for example, when I'm going to pick up my son or I'm going to hang out with my girlfriend, like things happen. Things that are completely out of my control happen and my friends, my family, they're much more accepting of it because I'm telling them the truth. You see what I mean? All these things kind of tie in together. So last but not least, reason number three, quit procrastinating, okay? Procrastination, I am going to do a full video on this, but procrastinating. This is one of the biggest triggers that most of us have. We have a task, we gotta do something, right? It seems overwhelming, so we push it off, we wait, and then we push it off even more, and then we push it off even more. But in the back of our anxious brain, that thing is building and building and building and building. Like, something that I personally do to manage my anxiety, like, I used to be such a procrastinator and still, I, I it's still like an ongoing process, but, Part of what I do, I tackle things the minute they come up. Like, part of my job is communicating with a lot of people. We have um, rehab centers all over the country. I communicate with people at our corporate office across the country, and I'm communicating with clients all the time. And everybody needs different things from me, so I have to do it immediately. Because if I wait, sometimes I forget, right? Or I push it off, right? I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. I'll do that later. Like, I've had to make it a habit to do as many things um, immediately that I can. There's a great rule of thumb, I forgot who said it. You do things, like anything that's gonna take you less than five minutes, do it right then. Like just absolutely do it right then. This is going to start to get you out of the habit of procrastinating. Procrastination makes things seem even more overwhelming than they are, and it's one of the main reasons why so many of us feel anxious. So again, please understand that the goal of this video is to put you back into a place of power. When you are able to separate the things that are outside of your control and the things that are inside of your control, you can start focusing on the things that are inside of your control, because most of us with anxiety, we have 20, 30, 50, 100 triggers. But if we can take a look at these triggers, realizing which ones we have some control over, now we have much more room to deal with our anxiety. You know what I mean? So please, 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 please start working on this, all right? And if you need some more resources or anything like that, make sure you check out the description down below. There's a there's some more resources and I don't tell you guys about it enough. Um, like for example, I have an entire like mental health reading list that you can check out. All those books are available on Amazon. You get it from Amazon, it helps support the channel, it doesn't cost you anything else, we all win, you know? But these are different things that'll help you out and learn different strategies for managing your anxiety, okay? But again, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you think that this video might help somebody you know, somebody who keeps lying, procrastinating, or showing up late, make sure that you share this video so maybe you can help them with their anxiety, all right? But that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you click that little subscribe button right below. And if you got some time, click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. Check out some other videos on this channel, all right? So thank you so much for watching. Quit lying, procrastinating, and showing up late, and I'll see you next time.